Praise the Lord. God is good and he is faithful. Let us continue trusting in him, waiting upon the Lord, meditating upon his word day by day. And even amidst challenges, we will still emerge victorious. We are not alone. God is together with us. And again, as we have continued to say, we have all what we need in Christ Jesus. He is our all in all. We are reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I'll read verse 1 and 2. Previously, we've been um, meditating upon chapter 3 of 2 Corinthians, where we have seen that our sufficiency is from God. We are who we are just by God's mercy, by his grace and his own will. He has made you who you are. And again, turning to him, you know, has given us a chance to, en to, to enjoy being partakers of the new covenant. And in this new covenant, it's no longer about the letter, but about the spirit of God. And where the spirit of God is, there is liberty and true freedom. Verse number one and two, the Bible says, therefore, since we have this ministry, we have received mercy. We do not lose heart, but we have renounced the hidden things of shame, not walking in craftiness, no handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Praise the Lord. Paul is helping us to see that. Now, having been made partakers of the new covenant, how are we supposed to handle this gospel? How are we supposed to present this glorious message of the new covenant? And he's helping us to see that. Now that we have received this ministry, now that we have been made partakers of the new covenant, we do not lose heart. Why? We have received mercy. Again, it's not about who we are. It's about the mercies of God, the grace of God, the love of God. And so we do not lose heart. Amid challenges, because we are partakers of the new covenant, we cannot dare lose heart. We continue pressing on and pressing on, renouncing the, you know, hidden things of shame, renouncing anything that is not in line with the word of God and submitting ourselves to God. He, uh, he who alone is able to give us the grace to move on day by day. Paul is helping us to see that. Now that we are partakers of the new covenant, just as he had said in chapter number three, that because of this hope, we have great or we have received great boldness. He's helping us to see that this gospel gives us a lot of boldness where we are able to stand strong, not losing heart, and again, continuing day by day, you know, even denouncing and renouncing anything that is not of God. And again, Paul helps us to see that again in this gospel, we are not faint-hearted. We are strong because he who has called us is faithful to a point whereby we are able to conduct our lives in line with the word of God. And this word, as we present it, we should do that in all humility. And I wonder Paul is saying that he's acknowledging that this is a glorious calling, a glorious position that we have been placed into by Christ Jesus. And so we do this with all humility. And in, as we humble ourselves, acknowledging the mercy of God upon our lives, again, we present this message of the new covenant with all honesty. And so three things that are coming out here, that we do not lose heart, so we remain bold and strong. We receive this word and we present it with all humility. Humility is a great virtue in a, in, a, in a Christian or in a believer's life. A great virtue that we ought to embrace. And again, all honesty. We are living in a time when people want to sugarcoat even the word of God trying to present the word of God just as um, the hearers or the listeners would want to receive it, not as God has commanded us, but as, you know, in a way, trying to appease or to please the listener. Brothers and sisters, 
Paul is reminding us the third thing, that we should present this gospel with all honesty, just as the message is received from God, should be delivered as is. And so we are partakers of the new covenant. We should not lose heart. Don't lose heart because of the afflictions that you may be facing today. Don't lose heart because of the issues that are pressing you today. Remain strong and courageous. Receive the boldness of God to face any kind of a challenge. And by the grace of God, you will remain humble. And with all honesty, you will be able to present that message of the cross, that message of the new covenant to your listeners and to all that the Lord will lead to you. May the Lord help us to know that we are in this glorious covenant and we can only imitate Jesus Christ, who is our great, great example on how to handle the message of the cross. The Lord bless you. God keep you. Have a lovely week. Shalom.